House Ways and Means Chairman Jason Smith joins me now. Your, your thoughts on, on the clown show that uh, was behind closed doors yesterday, but, but some of the claims that Hunter Biden made, I can't imagine. Uh, the claims were <laughs> so laughable. For example, to claim that the WhatsApp message the IRS whistleblowers provided to us that, that said that he was next to his father waiting for the response from that Chinese uh, business associate, it doesn't even matter, Rob, if his father was there or not. That WhatsApp message proved that they were using his father as a leverage to bring in millions of dollars. And then nine days later, nine days later from that message, apparently he claims it was to a wrong person, he still received five million dollars. I, I think if if the the issue is if you're drunk and texting and you'll receive five million bucks, you're gonna see a lot of drunk people texting and asking for five million dollars. Exactly right. You know I, I it's this I don't know what's going to happen with this. You know, I, I think we all find it very hard to believe that anybody with the last name Biden is ever going to have to face the music for anything with the way this country works. But I, I think what's important is that a, a story that is, to me, been very obvious this entire time is just getting this is getting pounded into people's heads. This is who you're dealing with when you when you vote for Joe Biden. You're voting for a guy that has never cared about this country, has never cared about the right things, and has created this entire facade about who he really is. At the end of the day, he's just a corrupt plagiarist who's out there sucking up to corporate interests to get lobbying money. He's just he's exactly what you hate about Washington. And I think that that is getting pounded into the American populace's head before they get ready to vote again in about nine months. Rob, there is no question that the evidence that we've been uncovering, starting out with the two IRS whistleblowers and what they've documented, it leads that Joe Biden is the most corrupt and compromised president that this country has ever said. Yeah. And his behavior of, of allowing his family to sell the brand all over the world for tens of millions of dollars and the brand being access to Joe Biden is absolutely horrendous. Exactly right. And on the other side, you have members of the House and Senate defending Joe Biden and selling what little credibility they have left, trying to act like this is nothing but Russia, Russia, Russia. Look out for Russia in this next election because they want to get Donald Trump elected and they think they have any credibility left. Congressman, we appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much, sir. Great to be with you, Rob.